Go get you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Boston Red Sox and the Atlanta Braves. It's Interlake Baseball on the show. Charlie Morton, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, this guy's properly nicknamed Ground Chuck because if he's on, you're going to see a steady diet of ground balls. Very important for Charlie Morton that his middle infielders on their toes. He should induce a lot of ground balls. Changed his arm angle a few years back after modeling after Hall of Famer Roy Halladay. Charlie Morton has been a very solid and dependable starter, and I expect him to pitch well in this one. Albies scoops it up. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, Dero? Matty, you focus on this lineup, the middle of the order jumps out at you because of the big power. But my focus today is on the table setters, the guys that set the tone. They have to be willing to work the count and find ways to get on base and create a little bit of havoc on the defense. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. In two pitches, you can see how quickly your fortunes can change in this game. First pitch of the game, no problem. He gets an out. Second pitch, it gets laced to the outfield for a double. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Swing and a little tapper. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Now the 0-1. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the heart of those 17 inches. Bradley leads off second with one gun in the inning. And a pitch takes off inside and it gets away. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2-2. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Trevor Story steps in now in prior outings against Charlie Morton. He's two for four. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. For most people, being down 0-1 would seem like a lot. But this guy is such a good hitter. He doesn't care going deep in the count. He's got runners on base. He has a game plan every time he comes to the plate. Let's see how this one plays out. 0-1 count. Here it is. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open. So a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show.
Chris Sale is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, Matt, when Chris Sale's healthy, he's as good as any left-hander in baseball. He's coming back from Tommy John surgery. When he's right, he throws to the upper mid-90s. He'll approach triple digits. Good hard slider. He's the modern-day version of Randy Johnson. He's a nightmare for left-handed hitters as he throws from that low three-quarter arm angle. Bradley is there. One pitch, one out. Batting second. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? You know, I'm looking forward to see what this guy can do in that five hole. He's truly one of the great power hitters in the game. I love watching him, and he's got elite power. That, that's the kind of power that he can hit it over the light towers, and he can hit home runs that will show up on show track and, and everything else. So anytime he steps into the box, he's exciting to watch. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. 0-1 the count. Swing and a liner. Verdugo is there and he makes the catch for the out. Batting third. The third baseman. Next to hit is Austin Riley looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now the pitch. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Two out, nobody on. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. So now here is Xander Bogarts. He'll get us started in the top of the second. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson picks it up. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. Batting six. Time for a look at the Braves on D. And I'm locking in on second baseman Ozzy Albies right now. This guy is an elite defender. Came up as a shortstop through the minor leagues until he dislocated his elbow. Has since moved over to second base. And also, both sides of the plate, a switch hitter with this kind of swagger and this kind of defense doesn't come along often. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Martinez will round first and head for second now. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt. Some people like to crow about homers and towering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez, a bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. Back up the middle. And a base hit as the run will come in to score, and that gives the Red Sox a 1-0 lead. 
Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Chris Sale. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. The right field under 99. Alex Mugugu. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh, and one here it comes. Swing and a liner. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. The batter, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Here's a pop-up now. Albies is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. On now to the bottom of the second. Boston's out in front, two to nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Matt Olson. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. You ball. Into the box now, Adam Duvall. Strike one to start the at-bat. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. 
Well, that's a pitch right there you got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. So two out, nobody on. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They trail things here two to nothing. Top of the third set to get underway, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Now the first pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The batter number 10, second baseman, Trevor Story. Now at the plate, here is Trevor Story. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Fourth ball right by him, 0-2 oh, now. One out, nobody on. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Waiting on it is Aredia. He's got it and there are two down now. The batter, number two, shortstop, Xander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogarts now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the A-B now. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And now the first pitch. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing and one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. One away. I've been some niggas that young, 
batting game. The center field. Yeah. Oh, ready. No one on with one down, and up next will be Guillermo Heredia. First offering on its way. Braves are still looking to break into the hit column here. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Back goes Martinez. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to left. And the Braves have struck for a run. It's now a 2-1 to game. That bomb didn't tie things up. But they're only down one right now and feeling pretty good they can come back. To the plate now, Charlie Morton. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Well, you know AL pitchers must love pitching in NL ballparks because all of a sudden they're only facing eight legitimate hitters in the lineup instead of nine. Kind of makes you wonder why any free agent pitcher would ever decide to pitch in the AL, doesn't it? Stepping in now, Eddie Rosario as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Down. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. But not before they answer back here with a solo home run. We played three full, and this is now a two to one ball game. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. The left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Rosario to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And boy, you can see it there. A couple of power arms out there as both of these guys are working in the high 90s. Now one down with the bases empty. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
on a line that's a base hit I mean there's no secret right now there's a fight at the bat rack everybody wants up at the plate right now they're feeling frisky they're all pulling the trigger early and it's working So now to the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck, as he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there at strike one. He singled in his first A.B. On a line, that's a base hit. Just an absolute laser that time, screaming off the bat, if you will. And Showtrack tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. At the plate, Chris Sale, as he'll send the first one he sees on the ground to second. Albies brings it in to second for one. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. Like clockwork, a four to six to three double play to end the threat. The three of us are back with more following this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Here's the first pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. High in the air and deep to left center field. Ranging back is Bradley, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. In now, Austin Riley. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And it's one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. And that'll bring up Matt Olson as he sends a soft bouncer to the right side of the infield. Throw gets him, two down. The next to bat for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. A potential tying run for him at third base. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And he drops a changeup right down Broadway for a called strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. From the stretch, the one-two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. 
And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. A big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. Don't touch that dial or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. Alex Verdugo digging in now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The right fielder, number 99. Alex Verdugo. Now here's the first offering. Hit hard up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Ambush tactics right there. But he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. So here now is Jackie Bradley. Hit down the third baseline. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the 0-1. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. That was some nice execution on that Up pitch. Spotted it nicely down the around the base bottom base. of the zone. Buffy and out. when you do that, especially yeah. with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Here now is Rafael Devers. Out in front of it, strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. From the stretch. Now a chopper to first. Might only get one. Fielded cleanly. There's one. On to the pitcher covering. And it's in time. A double play. And the inning is over. One hits all they get. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox lead it 2-1. to one. Matt Vaskersian, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson, the first to bat here in the inning. Now here it comes. What a well-executed fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Well, and it's one and one. one and one. He obviously wanted that call on the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call, and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. Hard ground ball to third. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The catcher. Trevor. Yards so bases are empty with one gun. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch on the way. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. That'll bring in Guillermo Heredia now. 
As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He homered back in the third inning in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this is going to be a foul ball. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. Braves are set down 1-2-3. Two, They're down 2-1. So here's the cleanup hitter, Trevor Story. No hits to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Now bad. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now the 1-0. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Here's J.D. Martinez swinging a hard liner to center field. Heredia is there, two gone. Now batting the catcher, Christian Vasquez. Next to dig in, Christian Vasquez. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First pitch on its way. He'll roll over it and send it to shortstop. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Red Sox are out in front, 2-1. to one. Alex Dickerson is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. First pitch on the way. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. The left fielder, number eight. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Eddie Rosario. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And he fouls this one off. Low scoring game thus far. 2-1 to one here in the sixth. 
And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's right. timing. Number you one. do that, and Second everything's going to be fine. In that Love strikeout, me. he never All threw the me. same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. So up steps Ozzy Albies. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's one for two in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. One ball, one break. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. The 1-1 one, one home. This is popped up. Dahlbeck will put this one away and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. They still trail it here 2-1. to one. Tyler Matzik is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number 7. Number 68. Stepping up is Bobby Dahlbeck in his career against this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. He's set, here it comes, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. You know, because this is just a one run game. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. That evens it up one and one. Matzik comes set. Here's the delivery. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now back the pitcher with Sale. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh, and that means the pitcher hits next. Enter Chris Sale. First pitch of the AB on its way. Oh, up there. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. You know what, Matty? I think it's so tough for a lefty to stay tucked on that slider to keep his front shoulder in and be able to recognize it and not get beat with the fastball. Fouled off. Here comes the one-two. Pulled toward right center field. On the run is Heredia. He makes the running play. Two down. The right fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Alex Verdugo. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here's the first pitch. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here.
At the plate now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And a check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Tried to get some loft to that swing, but it's one and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. And it's fouled away. Verdugo at second with two down. Still two and two. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. The 2-2. Two -two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Two out double left stranded. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go is the third baseman, Austin Riley. The third baseman, Austin. Now the first pitch. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his zone with all different options. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another 2-2 offering. Lifted down the line and left. And it's a foul ball. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now the three and two pitch. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long AB, you know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Martinez has a read on it. One out. The first baseman, Matt Olson. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding his zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. 
A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. The right fielder, number 14, Adam Duvall. Now at the plate, Adam Duvall struck out in his last trip to the plate. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two-out double. Wow, when I heard that and saw it leave his bat, I thought we were going to be all tied up. But it just didn't have enough to get out of here, so he's going to have to settle for a double. Tying run on second, and now things are officially getting interesting. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll be all for his starter, Chris Sale. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Ryan Brazier takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. The way he's been able to command his fastball those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin, or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. The 0-2. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line, and he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Brave strand one. Our score remains two to one. Tyler Thornburg has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Into the box, Rafael Devers. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the A-B now. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ah, uh, man, just a hair early on that one and just pulled it foul. It's going to have to find a way to refocus. Not easy to continue an A-B after you just went deep foul. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. The next 0-2. 
fouled away. Here's another 0-2. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Now to the plate. Here is Trevor Story. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's the first pitch. No balls and one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Good battle. Count remains full. The 3-2 one more time. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at-bat. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Rosario is there. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. The batter, number two, shortstop, Xander Bogart. Next up for the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team one back ball, in the dugout three. where the offense can get rolling. One and one the count. Here it comes. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one two. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Red Sox two and the Braves one. Jake Diekman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth.
bottom of the inning now. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Travis Garneau. The catcher. First pitch on the way. Right side. Scorey picks it up. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. The center field. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And up next will be Guillermo Heredia. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Here's the 1-1. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Might be time to see a pinch hitter, and if that's the case, here's what remains on the Atlanta bench. Drew Waters will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Now the first pitch, as he hits it weakly on the ground toward first. Scooped up to second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We've played eight full. Boston's out in front, two to one. Luke Jackson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now at the plate is J.D. Martinez. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. First delivery to him. This is popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. to the left side but it's well foul swung on and missed really fooled him that time for the first down really good late bite on that slider right there the best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch To the plate now, Christian Vasquez. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. And there's out number two. Now batting the first base, Bobby Dahlbeck. Next up is Bobby Dahlbeck. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. The 1-0. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Popped him up. Albies calls for it. And that will end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They lead it two to one. Matt Barnes comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning.
All set for the bottom of the ninth. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Eddie Rosario. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And that one yanked just foul. Ready with the 0-2. Nope, that's a ball. I got to count one and two. Fouled off. Another 1-2 delivery. Oh, outside. He stays alive, still 2-2. Two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3-2. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. And this is taken for ball four. So just like that, the time runs aboard to start the home half. Well, there's only a one-run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. So the next to bat will be Ozzy Albies. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Quick check on that tying run at first. And he'll be back in standing up. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short-term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attacked his own. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split-fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Really important time for a strike out there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base, and now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Standing in now, Austin Riley, as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hit hard towards center, and that'll get down for a base hit. Next to stand in is Matt Olson. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Garrett Whitlock comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. From the stretch. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Martinez has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now the right field. 
Adam Duvall. So stepping in is Adam Duvall, trying here to plate the tying run from second. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Final strike for the Braves. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, they sure made it interesting in the ninth, but they leave the tying run stranded at second, and the winning run helplessly at first. Could have gone either way, but we were treated to a great battle. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. Boston took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Chris Sale is credited with the win. Charlie Morton pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Boston Red Sox, two runs, ten hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For Atlanta, one run, five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. The winning pitcher is Chris Sale. The loss goes to Charlie Morton. Time of the ball game, two hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.